Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue the discussion on inspection. In the previous video, we talked about different conditions of the spirit. And in this, in this video, we're going to continue the last session of the spirit, this order of spirit. Before we go to the details, we're going to add one slide on the inspection, on the requirements of inspection. In the previous video, when we start the session of inspection, we said there, there are some requirements for inspection, especially for the lights. We prefer to use the natural lights or the lights with the white color. The reason is because of the color can affect our inspection. Here are two pictures of one gentleman. The picture were taken at the same time, but as you can see, due to different light, the color of the face. This one is pink, this one's pale. And also apart from apart from the fa the facial complexion, the tongue, this tongue appears pink on the side. So this area, this area, is, and you, you compare with this area of the tongue, you can see the different colors of the tongue. So this one is pale, this, the, this one is pink, this one is pale, or this one's dark is more red, this one's light, lighter. Now, also, when you compare with the coating, as you can see, something on top of the, of the tongue. The same person, at the same time, you can see the, the coating on top. You compare here. This one looks much thicker than this one. The one on the, on the right side looks much thicker than the one on the left side. So that's why the, the light is very important for inspection because different lights, different conditions can affect the in inspection a lot. So we need to be careful. So the next we're going to discuss the last, last session of the spirit, disordered spirit. It's all the spirit and the patient can present as like anxiety, fear, or depression, panic, mania, or convulsion. So these are different symptoms we consider as disordered spirit. The first one, anxiety with panic. There's also the panic, also kind of fear. So you also can say anxiety with the fear. The patient feel fearful. The patient may present with palpitation, rapid breathing. Why the patient will feel palpitation? That's because of the, the spirit, the, the anxiety, the cause of the anxiety is due to the heart deficiency, the heart qi deficiency, and then the heart spirit without nourishment. So when we, when you see the, the symptoms of palpitation, you need to remember, you need to think about the fish and the fire, the fish and the water. In the basic theories, we explain for the, this kind of feeling. Because the heart houses is the mind, so the anything related to spirit has very close relationship with the heart. That's why we says always says the heart blood. We focus on the heart mind. Anything going to affect the heart mind going to have this kind of disorder. The next disorder is depression with grief. This kind of patient, they, they can have presents as 
depression, apathetic, and mental discordedness, mumbling, crying or laughing for no reasons, pessimism at this point. And this is that's why we, we said that um, in Samja, the cause of this kind of can be the the slam block the the heart mind. So this is also the heart the heart problem. So really anything cause the heart problem, the heart really affecting the heart mind. What can cause an yin samja? We're going to discuss another samja, a yang samja. But what can cause the yin samja? You need to think about the, the pathogens, pathogenic factors that can cause an yin samja. It must be an yin pathogen. The yin pathogen can be the phlegm, which is more, more commonly can be the phlegm. Mania with recognized action. This week said uh, it is a yang samja. The patient includes insanity, raving, recognized behavior, inability to recognize family members, dreams di dream disturbed sleep, a third action. As you can see from this kind of patient, they actually the the mind is not clear. Insanity, inability to recognize the family members they don't know their family their family members and why they have dream disturbed sleep. They always have dream they have always have dreams while sleep. It's because of the also because of the hard mind. So whenever we talk about the hard mind. You need to think about the fish and the water, the relationship between them. This this kind of symptom is a yang symptom. The yang symptom is at, compared with the yin symptom, the yang is active. So this kind of patient, the the cause, the pathogenesis of this symptom due to flame fire or flame heat. Heat is a yang sanjian. The yin sanjian due to flame, but the flame without heat. So that's yin. Why we said this is a yang sanjian and the other one is the yin sanjian. That's also from the clinical, uh, from the clinical phenomenon of, of from the patient. The yang sanjian is more active, more violent. The yin sanjian. It's more quiet. The next one con convulsion with sudden faint. Convulsion with sudden faint. The patient will suddenly faint, su suddenly lost their consciousness, can be vomiting. The eye fixed upwards. Con convulsion of the limbs and a strange noise. Especially the noise similar to the ship. After a normal level consciousness returns, the patient may feel completely, completely normal. This is a very common situation in epilepsy. As a patient, for the acute attack, the patient may present as sudden faint, unconscious to this vomiting of saliva. Um, the noise from the no, from from the throat, and once the the attack stop, the patient can recover to normal. So this is the the reason for this, also related to the mind. Depends on what's the cause. We're going to see from the other symptoms and signs from other diagnostic methods. So these are different conditions of the spirit from different levels of spirit and to the disorder of spirit. It, it is very important for the doctors 
and the practitioners, all the practitioners, to have a concentrated mind while we observe. So the cautionary notes. The first one is the requirement from the practitioner. The reason is because of the spirit or some moments of the patient may show unintentionally. So that's a very short time unintentionally. You need to concentrate yourself, otherwise you're going to lose the moments which you can gather the information from the short, very short moment. So when we observe the patient during the consultation, we need to concentrate our mind. The second is we need to observe both, both the body and mind. Just in general, a uh, good body, a strong body, physical body, both, or a strong body con constitution always have a better spirit. A patient with, a, or people with weaker body boat or skinny body boat, they always have has poor spirit. But also these are in general situation. In some pathological conditions, a patient with consciousness, but in emaciated patient, especially with chronic condition, also considered as loss of spirit or less spirit. So here can be either loss or less spirit. Acute unconsciousness of the pa in a patient with a strong body bolt considered as an unfavorable sign. So doesn't doesn't matter the body bolt or the body con constitution is strong, how strong they are, acute unconsciousness also considered as unfavorable sign. So in this situation, whenever you see a patient with unconsciousness, the patient presents as unconsciousness, you need to be careful. That might be loss of spirit, so that's the severe condition. The next, we're going to talk about the inspection of the colors and luster of its on the face, so it's also called the facial complexion. The facial complexion is very important, it's one of the most important special aspects in our diagnostic method. The reason is because that there are many diseases can reflect on your face in terms of the color changes and the luster changes. The picture on the right side reminds me a story a few years ago. So I was attending um, social activities. So when there was a group of people, so they sitting around the, the table, we have dinner together, and the, the people around there, the people in the activities, they knew that I am a Chinese medicine practitioner. So there's one of the friends, so the friend's friends, and they asked me, that's, hey, Dr. Hu, you, since you, you are, since you were practicing Chinese medicine, can you tell us who is not in good health around us? So a group of people sitting in front of the dinner table, and there's one gentleman raised the question, who is not in a healthy condition. But you see from an activity, from social activities, because of the privacy of the patient, and even I, I actually I didn't know who is the patient. So I won't be able to perform the inquiry. I won't be able to perform the PAR patient or any other kinds of diagnostic methods or what can all what I can do is observation from the facial complexion, the colors and class and the luster from the face. So from a group of 
a group of people sitting next to the table and I pointed out to Buddha's one lady but obviously because of the patient privacy and the to show the respect I cannot say that someone's sick now I pointed that lady I said if you have the chance you should go to the hospital to have the your health check and then after the dinner the lady approached to me she said she got the the tumor in the in the womb so from this story from the facial complexion i see that that lady might have tumor or cancer but where they are which cancer i don't know but i can see that her health is not in good condition but how do i know that's from the the cluster change on the face but this is very important but it's also difficult for us to study here the reason is because the race the race is here we got the white we got the blacks we got asians so this theories was developed in china in asian china the theories was developed in the group of asian people even this not the whole asian people the more the middle and north asian people so the color you it's difficult for us for you to learn but you also still need to remember the different colors can the indications of different colors the reason why from the facial complexion because of we have different races here so it is difficult to observe the face color but why we need to remember the indication of the the color indications of the clinical indications it's because the color the clinical indications of the color is same as the clinical indications of the tongue so if you remember that the uh, facial complexion if they present as red that may, may be heat in the tongue diagnosis when you see a red tongue you also can you also can think about this it's the heat although this heat can be excessive heat or deficiency heat if a patient presents with pale or white facial complexion it presents as coldness or yang deficiency so in the tongue diagnosis when we see the pale color or the the white color it also can present as the cold condition or yang deficiency the yellow the yellow complexion we can see in all kinds of races the reason is because especially when we we talk about the yellow you will see that the yellow color not only reflects on the skin the blue the blue or cyan color that's the blastasis black so as you can see here you got five colors do you ring any bells in your mind for the five colors that's from the five elements so for the facial complexion we're going to observe the color and the luster principles and significance of inspection facial color and lusters this is, this is actually tell us how why we can or how we can see your body con condition from the facial complexion that's because of the the facial complexion the and indicates the qi the essence of the body the essence of the zhangfu organs that's why we can see from the face to see your the the essence of zhangfu organs 
also from the clause of Lin Su. Lin Su is the second part, the, the second part of the Huang Di Nei Jing. It described as the qi and blood of the 12 meridians and 365 cholesterols ascend to the face and orifice. So, all, which means the qi and blood in all of the body ascend to the face and orifice. So that's how we can observe from the face to see from the face to see the body conditions. So what's the significance of observation? We can identify the qi and blood. We can differentiate the disease nature. How to differentiate that from the color? Identify the disease location. Predict the disease prognosis. So the first one, the location of face from the Huang Di Nei Jing, it gave us it gave different locations, the courtyards, the name. We don't use this kind of name now, but so it's it, the the names of this picture is not important, but we just give you a short introduction of the description from Huang Di Nei Jing. We, what you can remember is the picture on the right side. The different area, different location of the, the face can reflect different situation of the body condition. The head and face, the thoughts on your forehead. I saw one lady. She, the lady suffered from digestive, digestive problem and actually it's the stomach and intestine problem. So the digestive system doesn't function well. The patient doesn't feel good. They all, she always feel the upper abdomen, upper abdomen is uncomfortable, sound uncomfortable feelings in upper abdomen. This lady on her face, she always have a pimples in this area. Once the pimple recovers, after a few days, it comes back in. Once it recovers and comes back in. So I have saw, I have seen this lady for quite a few years, but all what has not been changed is the pimples here. Why is the lady we have pimples? And this lady is actually 36 years old. So it's not, it's, she, so she was not a uh, teenager, but she always had pimples here. So in this situation, you can see that she got, she might have small intestine problem. She also might have large intestine, but this, as you can see, this two are related to each other and also related to the digestive, digestive system. Remember that I said that this lady got the digestive system problem, always feel discomfort in the upper abdomen. So that's the imbalance of internal organs reflects on the face. So if someone got problems always in this area, it might be the kidney. Here might be the in small intestine or large intestine. If they always have problems in the upper lip, it can be the bladder or uterus. As you can see, because of the different races in Africans, the color and the luster is not easy to observe. But for from the white, you also can observe. All what you need to do just we need to get enough data from your brain, from your mind, then you will understand what's normal and what's abnormal. If someone they always have pimples or they always have problems on the tip of their nose. Now you can think about 
it might be the spleen or the stomach. If they always have problems here, it can be heart. So that's the general distribution, general location of the internal organs reflect on the face. When we observe the face apart from the color and uh, luster, we're also going to differentiate the different location. So these are the divisions of the, the area, the locations. What's the normal color? In order to understand the abnormal color, we need to know the normal color. The normal color is moist, lustrous, and non-exposed red. The non-exposed red, we will describe, we will describe what that means by exposed red. Abnormal color, as long as it is not related to, is not belong to abnormal color, it is abnormal colors and so the the first one bluish or the blue it describes what's the non-exposed color as a silk wrapped the dark bluish trade it's a kind of a trade blue trade but this blue trade is not the color you see from the trade. It's something, especially a white silk, cover, covered the trade. What kind of red color is the, the normal color? The cinnabar. The cinnabar, but also not the, the cinnabar you see, but a silk, silk wrapped. The yellow color. Snake god food, silk wrapped. So these are the description. You can see the color through a, a very thin white white silk. If you see a red color, a very dark red color, can be the Placesis or the red color as the static blood. That's actually the dark red. If you see the, f so you can try to find to imagine or to try to find the pictures of all these different colors. White, a, a silk wrapped redness, goose feathers. What's the difference between the goose feathers and the pig, a pig fat? If you don't know, find the pig fat from the super monkey. Then you will see what kinds of fat, what kinds of white color we don't like. What kind of white color is not the, the right white color? A dried bones. When you study your anatomy, when you go to the lab, you will see the dried bones. What's the color of the dried bones? We see this kind of color on the face. This also indicates the, the disease condition. Black. As crown feathers. So from the different colors of normal and abnormal colors, you, the indications you can read from your textbooks and uh, from the videos we're going to show you from the lecture, we're going to show you some images from the clinic. And also we're going to show you, we're going to tell you how to observe. So as you can see from the, the bluish, the bluish or cyan, the color. This is this is actually the plastasis or cold retention cause starts stagnant blood. So that's the plastasis. This baby, 
is wild. It's cyan, cyan in red color. The red color, as you can see, the face. Where is the cyan color? Yeah. You think? So this, this boy, the, the face complexion, the facial complexion is darker. You see slightly red here. You see the cyan or the bluish, the bottom of the nose. So that's how we observe. And then from here, you also can see what's the clinical indications so for these descriptions you can read from your textbooks and then you need to you can try to explain what kinds of clinical indications can relate it to the colors the next one we're going to talk about is the red color the red color often indicates the heat and yang floating syndrome. The yang floating syndrome is in our basic theories. It translates as hyperactive yang. Hyperactive yang or hyperactive yang qi can be the hyperactive yang of the yang qi of liver or hyperactive yang qi of kidney. So how to observe them? It's from the face as you can see these two images the boy and this lady on the face you can see the redness on the face but these two redness very obviously you can see the difference between these two the one the boy's face the red the lady's face the red is lighter the color is lighter and this kinds of reds we describe that is very similar to the makeup. So the ladies, when they put the makeup on, they sometimes put a light red there. So this kinds of redness is very similar. Or you, if you feel like that's the makeup, this is the hyperactive yang or hyperactive fire or the yang floating syndrome so when you see from these two different colors you will know that this one is excess excess heat this one is due to hyperactive yang the reason why you need to understand the different type of the course is because whenever you see this kind of Complexion, this kind of a color, the treatment will be different. For excess heat, what's the treatment principle for that? How are we going to treat this this kind of face? This boy presents with fever. We're going to reduce the fever. We're going to clear. We're going to eliminate the pathogens. For this lady. The hyperactive yang is actually due to indeficiency. So for this kind of problem, we're going to tonify the yin, either the kidney yin or liver yin, right? So from the observation, you will see the difference between these two. So from the clinical indications, they, they are there are other clinical indications you can to read from your textbooks. The next color, the yellow color, indicates spleen deficiency or dampness syndrome. So for the the other color we have we have mentioned, the red color, the bluish, sometimes it's difficult for you to observe especially from bl the blacks because of the skin but from the yellow the yellow color indicates spleen deficiency or dampness syndrome apart from the the skin become yellow you can see from the eyes so the, these two pictures are from patient with jaundice 
from the eye eyeballs you can see the the yellow color yang jaundice in jaundice why it is yang jaundice why this is it is in jaundice it's because the first the first is from the face it is brighter this kind of yellow the the face the facial complexion on the right side is darker also, although it is also yellow but from the eyeballs now you can see the eyeballs no matter asian black or white the eyeballs are all the same if you see the the yellow color in the eyeballs so it indicates the spleen deficiency or dampness syndrome why the the one on the left side is yang jaundice that's because the the the, the yellow is brighter and as you compare from this two picture what's important here you compare the eyeballs the brightness of the eyeballs the one on the right side is dull or it's, it's darker from the eyeballs sometimes you sometimes you can't see from the face but from the eyeballs you're going to observe from there because from yang jaundice you're going to focus on we're going to balance the yang back for yin jaundice okay, we're also going to treat yin so that's why we need to different differentiate different yin and yang from the observation So those these you're going to read from by yourself. And when you read the when you read the clinical indications, try to explain in our from our theories why the patient will present as yellow, why the, the patient will present as red. The next one, the the white color. The white color can present from the face, also can from the eyes. You see, that's why we, although we got different races here, and we still need to learn the colors, because from the colors, from not only from the face, you can to see from your eyes, you can to you can see from the lips, you can see from the tongue. That's the different color. You also can see from your nails here. So these are all the same, the all the, the areas that you can avoid the the color of the skin. The white color indicates deficiency, cold, or loss of blood syndrome. So the, the why the the white color, why these different colors represent different coldness or hot? That's because the white color, the white. Is a cool color. The red or the orange is warm color. So that's yin and yang. Or again, goes goes to yin and yang. A white color, apart from the face, you can see from the eyes, as you can see from the set this part. Pale. So this patient is actually anemia. Black color, the black color, the skin presents darker and indicates cold, pain, or blastasis, kidney deficiency, water retention symptoms. So these are the explanation from acupuncture theories from the black color. You see diff kidney deficiency. Sometimes we see we can see this kind of facial complexions on the chronic kidney failure in patient. This kind of color is darker, so this indicates black. And when when talk about black, we need to be careful. That's you see this patient, this patient is black, but his skin is lighter. 
but here you can see around the eyes that's the black color you can see okay so when we observe especially from from this picture we're going to we're going to discuss again in next video there's, there's actually also different indications on the black color when you observe this black color you need to be careful that it's pathogenic physiological or pathological but the black color reflect can reflect the kidney can reflect the pen so these are the indications you need to remember um, for the inspection you need to understand how to inspect how to defense how to differentiate what you need to focus on the black color focus on the kidney especially the kidney deficiency the cold syndrome water retention plastasis and pain so these are something you need to remember try to memorize okay so the the five colors and the five elements so these are clinical indications these these are something you need to remember try to memorize them the more the better and wherever you see these colors then you can reflect these indications okay, so we're going to stop here thank you guys